you guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. This might be a one-off. It also might be something I do regularly depending on how well it does. So if you're interested in seeing these weekly kind of videos, do let me know in the comments and drop a like as well. I'd appreciate that. Anyway, just before we do jump into the actual review. So I'm going to do a, re a review of how a lot of people have done in the league. Not actually that many people joined compa compared to last year. Um, I think it's because I did the video a little bit later, but if you've not yet joined, do do get yourself in. There's only been one game week, so you're not really missing out too much. However, I had a very, very good week compared to a lot of people. Um, if you had Salah in, it was happy days, but if you had Salah captained, yeah, happy days. Happy days. He got me 40 points. The only downside is I did have a zero pointer, um, which is very annoying because Pulisic... It sounded like in an interview last week that Lampard did. It sounded like Pulisic was going to play or at least come off the bench. Wasn't even in the squad. Deli Ali got benched at half time, which was terrible. I got lucky with Walter Peters, really, because he nearly got sent off. But Vinagre w was going to be my rotation player. I actually had Vinagre in, um, but he he's not even going to play because Wolves have got a new left wing back. Uh, Marcelo, whatever he's called. So I'm in a bad spot this weekend. I've got two players that are currently... 75% chance of playing. I think Werner will play. It's only a dead leg. I think he will play. He has said he'll try and fight through it. Pulisic, I have no clue. Um, he's got a 75% chance of playing as well. It was a hamstring injury as well. So, I don't think Lampard will rush him back. So, anyway, what I'm saying is, we'll review my league. Um, also, I need you, your guys' tips because I've got three players in this team right now that all could potentially not play this weekend, which is an issue. So... And I only get one free transfer. So I could be in a bit of bother this weekend. I really could. But I got 81 points anyway. The average was 50 points. But 81 points is pretty good. Like I said, if you had Salah in, you're pretty sorted. But we had some decent ones in there as well. Justin, very cheap. Mitchell, very cheap. He did well. Zaha, not many people had Zaha. He had a really good pre-season. That's why I put him in. Um, scored a couple in pre-season. So I thought, sod it. I put Zaha in. Abamyang coming in clutch. Deli Ali might have to get Ben, so I'm not going to lie. In, in transferred out even. So, anyway, let's jump into the actual league. Like I said, get yourself in if you want to join. We'll have a quick look through some of the teams. Not all of them, because we don't want the video to be too long. Um, but top of the league, we do have a 91-pointer. Um, and obviously, he does have Salah captain. Fair play. He has Harrison as well. I took Harrison out last second, boys. I took him out last second. But I did take him out last second to Zaha. So, it would have been actually less points than Zaha so we can live with that but Harrison does look good for five and a half quid might have to get him in look good for Leeds against Liverpool uh, Romeo, Aubameyang Mitrovic you've got to get him out it, Fulham looked dead absolutely dead whether or not they'll be a little bit better I'm not too sure but Fulham looked absolutely dead he did have size fair play he got himself a goal unlucky to not get two goals actually what did he get a clean sheet and a goal yeah he, he was unlucky not to get two goals I was watching that game Justin's a very good option Doherty with Reg Reguion coming in, Reguion might be a good option as well, to be fair. The Spurs fullbacks could be decent, supplying into to Bale as well. Uh, Trent, I didn't put Trent in. Um, I may put Trent in eventually, but Trent, little, I've, I've just got a feeling teams will sus, suss him out a little bit more this year. Um, they'll get the like the, the winger to drop back, so he's got less space. I really feel like Trent's going to be less... Have less impact, basically. So, I didn't put Trent in. But, either way, very good week. 91 points for you. Next guy did have Salah captained as well. Fair play. Schmeichel in goal. Mitchell, Robertson at left back. He had Trent and Robertson. <sighs> Expensive defence, that is. Jeez. Uh, Zaha, fair play. You've got Zaha in as well. Uh, whether or not you did that for, for the same reasons as me, I, I imagine probably. Triore. Triore, unluck kind of unlucky not to score or assist. He always gets forward a lot, but... Needs to improve his end product. Zaha, Perez, Ayu, Kane and Vardy. I took Vardy out last second as well. I kept. I really wanted to get Vardy in. I also wanted to get Kane in as well. Um, but I went with uh, like Danny Ings, Werner in the end. So um, Ben Forrest, he's a guy I know. 80 points, fair play. Underneath me though, love to see that. He did put Pereira in there. I nearly put the West Brom Pereira. But I want to see what he does first. <sighs> Kai Havertz, nah. I, th I think everyone's hating on him, including me. I was very angry. I couldn't believe how bad he was. But he was playing out of position. It's early doors. Hopefully, it was just a, a bad day. Uh, but if he plays centrally, it'll be interesting to see how good he is. But that is a risk because he's been bad. Oh, that bench. That has got a sting. You've got 13 points on your bench. Jamal Lewis, though. 
Jamal Lewis, is he cheap? How much does he cost? Four and a half quid. He might be an option. Mitchell's very cheap. You had him on, on, on the bench. Calvert-Lewin, though, that's a very good choice. He looks very good for uh, for Everton and Werner as well. So, fair play. Let's have a look at some of the uh, low ones down. Is there any other people that I kind of notice? Um, oh, we've got BKF. Let's have a look at his team. We've got Schmeichel, Soyuncu, Leicester defenders. We've got Van Dijk. Not a fan of having centre-backs in. I'm really not. Uh, but fair play. I usually go with full-backs. Uh, Salah, that midfield flopped a little bit, but he did have Salah in there. Captain Werner. <sighs> Captain Werner. The only reason I didn't Captain Werner was because it's early doors, and we played Brighton in a friendly, and only we only drew to them, so I weren't confident Werner would score. Um, I, I've got a feeling he might score against Liverpool, though, if he, if he does play, because Liverpool's defence looked dodgy um, if they're playing on the halfway line. Anyway, here we go. We've got Louis Abdo, 65 points. Mm -hmm. Not a bad week. Not a bad week for him. He's got Jimenez up top. Oh, that bench as well. He's got Lascelles on the bench. Oh, Egan had a terrible week as well. And Ramsdale in goal. Ramsdale, I was looking at Ramsdale um, at the start. Um, but I chose not to go with him. I went with a cheaper keeper. Uh, but Ramsdale looked dodgy. He should have saved uh, one of the shots. Uh, whether or not he'll be, he'll be better. When, when I watched him at Bournemouth, he was pretty decent though. you got Trent as well. got Walker-Peters. Your defence had a stinker. Luckily, you had Salah as captain. He has Mane in there as well. Okay. It, it, it's an all right team. Um, there's definitely potential. I mean, game week one, it's not, he's done all right. But yeah, there's potential in that team. And he's got rotation as well. That's the one downside I have. I really wish I had some rotation because I'm, I'm screwed. I could potentially have another zero pointer, which will be bad. Um, anyway, let's have a look. Do we see any others? I'm going to go to the bottom of the table soon. So if you're at the bottom... Ooh, bit of splotchy. I think this is splotchy. Dinye. Dinye. I want to get Dinye in so bad. He takes corners and Everton just look pretty good. It is only early doors, but he does look good. Oh, he's captain Danny Ings against Palace. Never, ever captain players against Palace. If, you, if you've got a United player in, I'm telling you, do not captain him. I, I mean, I'll hold my hands up if I'm wrong, but Palace are actually really solid defensively. I've always thought that, and I, I, I don't understand people that have put Palace in the relegation zone. Just an overall solid team, Palace. They just lack lack goals, really. But Zaha, the man, he's going to come in clutch. Um, either way, Cody, I think West Brom defenders is, is a good idea. Digne, not a bad midfield. They flopped a little bit, but that's potential. Mason Mount's risky, though. Mason, Mason Mount will definitely get rotated um, here and there. I think a lot of Chelsea midfielders will. will uh, apart from maybe, like, Kante, maybe. Pulisic. When Pulisic is back, he'll be the main man, I think. Oh, he chose Mane over Salah. Are you mad? No way. I would not choose Mane over Salah. Never. Uh, not that... I think Mane is actually the better player, but in terms of FPL, Salah's always getting more points. Always. Um, anyway, let's... let's We'll scroll down. In fact, next page. Oh, there's HB7. Let's have a quick look at HB7. 33 points, HB. Oh, another Liverpool fan putting Mane over Salah. I thought Liverpool fans would know more than us. And he's put Saka in there. I, I, I definitely wouldn't go with Saka. Um, Willian, you've got Willian, you've got Pe Pepe even started on the bench. Um, there's a lot of Arsenal wingers. I wouldn't go with any of them. Bamiang's a very good choice though. St. Maximin's a good choice even though he flopped. I think Danny Ings is quite a good choice. He was unlucky not to score. Taney's a good choice. Vinagra is just unlucky. I, I, a lot of people thought he was going to start, but he didn't. And uh, you've got similar, you've got Ramsey and goal. <laughs> You had a stinky, stinky first week. There's a couple of players I'd, I'd change out, but overall, a bit unlucky. Wait, have you got Taylor on the bench? So Taylor's meant to be pretty solid, apparently. So maybe sub in Taylor. Sub in Taylor soon, because uh, he's going to be quite good for a cheap price. Anyway, let's let's go right near the bottom. Anyone I recognise near the bottom? There actually, there actually isn't. 23 points. What has happened here? Oh, God. Well, you clearly didn't watch my video. And that's why you watch my videos, boys. I even mentioned... I, I made the video 10 minutes long. Briefly explaining that Man City... And I think I said it at the start of the video. Man City, United, Burnley and another team don't play. And this geezer's going to put City players all over the shop. He's got United players. Shane Long. Okay, I don't want to grill this guy too much. But gee, I, I don't know what his thinking was behind this. Madison... Did Madison only play? I think he's just come back from an injury, so maybe he's just, he's just getting back into fitness or something. Don't know too much about Madison. Um, but 
Wow, that stinks. The amount of zero points you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pulisic is unlucky. Six zero pointers. And you've got Gundogan in there. And Ake. I think Ake is risky. I don't know if Ake will play. Because, um, well, I think he will unless Koulibaly signs. Risky. I'm guessing this guy's done the same. This is why you watch my videos, boys. This is why you watch my videos. Even outside some of the players they've picked, though, I can't really understand why they've picked him. You've picked a lot of United and City players in there. You did have Schmeichel as your vice captain, and he actually cut your double points. Fair play. Uh, this Burr guy could potentially be a, an absolute steal. He's four quid as well. Got himself, I think, was it first half? I think he just played for the first half. I'm not sure. Where does it say? Matches played? Minutes played. Wait, he played 22 minutes. Why did he play 22 minutes? Oh my god, this video is 11 minutes long. Holy shit. Um, anyway, boys, that is me reviewing some of the teams. Um, let me know what team name you are, because I don't recognise a lot of you guys. Whether, like, I only know you guys by your YouTube name, so... Um, unless, I know, known, unless I've known you from years. For years. I can't speak. Um, but anyway, boys, if you guys could drop a like, I'd appreciate that. If you'd like to see this more often, do let me know, but I imagine probably not. But um, anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.